This game was played just one year after Nelson Mandela became the president of South Africa, a game that Mandela would use to stitch together what was previously a tattered social fabric that defined South Africa under the apartheid regime. He arrived at the stadium donning a green jersey of the national rugby team, a game that was a favorite of the white minority and shunned by the majority black. It wasn't just a streak. Who will ever forget how Ellis Park erupted on the day of the final as Madiba walked out wearing a Springbok jersey with number six on the back, the captain's number. That action was worth more than all the sermons we could preach about reconciliation. From that moment, the black apathy towards the game ended, and in its place, a fanatical support that saw the Springboks lift for the first time the World Trophy. The Whites were humbled, and particularly the team's captain, who received the trophy from Mandela. I now call on our president, Mr. Mandela, to make the presentation of the William Webb Ellis Trophy to the captain of the winning team, Francois Pinot. It's incomprehensible. You know, it, it, it just boggles the mind that a sporting event, and uh, through the leadership of an incredible person, could, could unite a nation that, that it has. We felt that the greatest motivator in the world is Nelson Mandela. Sport, Mandela came to reveal later, was his secret weapon to end animosity. Sport reaches centers far beyond that of politicians. They speak a language which is understood by everybody. They make us forget about our troubles. So that is the importance of sport. The enigma associated with his presence during matches came to be described as the Madiba magic. And when South Africa hosted the FIFA World Cup in 2010, the first time the world's biggest sporting showpiece was staged on the African soil, it was hoped that Madiba would grace the opening ceremony. He was frail at the time and could not make it, but even then, his presence was greatly felt. I think we've got to pay a wonderful tribute to the man to whom we owe all of this. He is in Johannesburg, and if we make a loud enough noise, he will hear us. And so we say, Hala la Nelson Mandela! Viva Madiba! if he's not here tonight but the spirit of Mandela is in Soccer City he's just a special man over the past 24 years Madiba taught us how to come together and to believe in ourselves and each other a unifier from the moment he walked out of prison He taught us extraordinarily practical lessons about forgiveness and compassion and reconciliation. Salve Chibet, Citizen Live at Nine.